Gadget Man 404 here, very, very uh, nervous, scared to hell, as I nearly lost my 3x quadcopter, seriously. I was flying it quite happily, now I took off from, um, just bear with me guys, I'm new to this fucking crumb. Right, see that, there's a path, yeah? About halfway towards that tree, I took off. And ended up flying. Where did I end up flying? Where the hell did I go? Up there somewhere. So right at the top of the phone, yeah, top of the phone, in the middle above my head, right, there's a massive trees and there's a big field. And that's what I flew the other day. So anyway, I flew up the field uh, it was okay it was drifting a little bit to the left so I kept giving it a bit of right stick looking up in the air yeah it was moving right and then when I actually last saw my quad it just followed that hedge line all the way to that corner so I'm sort of yeah behind myself a bit yeah anyway all the way to the top of that field and it's a big field it may not look a lot on this phone screen but seriously it is a big field let me try and adjust this bloody thing right that's better right anyway so yeah i flew right up the top of that field like i did before so right up there over the field but it started going to the left so i was giving it a bit of i was making sure it's pirouetting right a little bit so it was correcting itself right that's what you do as pilots here's my Simon anyway I went flying up there and I was trying to get to rough I was trying to do a demonstration of with the original props to see what happens when I do return to home because last time it twitched like three times and I was using non-stock props so I thought I'll do a flight today with stock props Oh my god, and then the last time I saw it, it was heading over to this, there's a bloody big forest. Ow, my ankle, ow, oh, freaking hell. Oh, Jesus, anyway, behind me, uh, there, big forest, yeah, big forest there. And my quad was going smack bang for it. I heard something. And when I looked, because it kept going off on my FPV monitor, and I don't know why, because I did the same setup last flight, and I got further, I flew a lot further without losing signal. So I don't know if it's a bit cloudy in the weather and stuff, I don't really know if that's got anything to do with it, but Jesus, I'll tell you something. I was going, here's the big, here's the big bag. And anyway, seriously, I'm so... Bloody, I'm shaking. And anyway, it was going for them trees. It, was, it kept like dive bombing. Now the video will be amazing, but crapping your pants at the same time amazing. Because how I didn't crash it, I don't know. Anyway, I couldn't make out which direction it was facing. So I was trying to bring it back to me by just by pulling the stick back to me to see if it would come to me. It was going away and it was dive bombing, like circling, going <sighs> heading for those blinking that big forest over there. And seriously, I thought, right, take over. You can actually just get hold of the sticks and try and take over while it's in return to home. When you let go of the sticks, it's supposed to return to home, but it wasn't bloody coming home at all. It was completely gone mental and it was so off track, I don't know what the hell happened. And I do not know, seriously, I'm not even bloody winding you up here. I don't know how I didn't crash or how it just didn't crash itself because it was out of control. It was going absolutely mental. I mean, it was, I mean, there's probably a load of birds 
you can see just flying over those treetops somewhere, I don't know. And they're bloody pretty high. And my quadcopter was like as high as them. I don't know if they were attacking it or what. I, honest to God, I don't know what the hell was going on. But it about give me a freaking heart attack. Seriously. Shit. Uh, I think I got my keys there for a minute. And I don't know what the hell happened. So in the end, I took it out of GPS hold and took over manually. And even then it was going crazy and I managed to get it down. How the, honest to God, I don't know how I managed to land it. I'm not a super, super experienced pilot. Yeah, when you see a quad, lower it, yeah, and try and get it towards you. But when you've got no orientation of where you are, that isn't easy to do, man. That is really hard. I've got a bloody rucksack with one quad there. I've got a rucksack with one quad there and I'm holding a bloody quad. So I thought I'll have a real good day of flying. And the last flight, which I thought would be the best flight, was nearly disastrous for me. Because if I'd have broke that, that isn't a cheap Simer housing shell to replace. Flight control board alone is $60, whereas a Simer one is about five quid. Motors and a Simer, a three pound odd for one. Is 15 20 quid on my 3x. Seriously, seriously, I'm about pooing my pants about five times. I was so freaking scared. Holy god, Just calm down, calm down. <coughs> Oh jeez, seriously. The video will be epic. The video will be absolutely amazing. Of the flight, <laughs> or the near crashes. I mean, I don't know how many times I nearly hit the bloody trees. But the altitude hold, thankfully, kept it, you know, when I was coming down, it was really slow coming down. The altitude hold had really kicked in. I think with the wind, fighting the wind, it was completely spinning it round. Even in GPS lock, it, it couldn't hold its position properly. And return to home, it, it wasn't even anywhere near where I took off from. So I think, um, I think what I'll need to do is every flight probably an idea to do a calibration like every, you know you have to turn it around three times like with the legs turn it around turn it roll it bar roll it and then nose it and I might just do that every flight but I don't know why the transmitter was losing picture because I've done that mission before I've even flown further away than that and it completely, seriously, what the hell? It, I don't know where it was going, but I'll tell you something, it didn't half go fast when it goes backwards. And I, I couldn't see it, but I could hear it. And then I just looked to my left and I saw it just hovering like dive bombing some trees. And these are big bloody trees, they're not little things. I was like, holy God, and I was just thinking, quick, just get it to me, and I, but I just couldn't make out what, which way was from sideways, because it was completely messed up, I don't know if the weather's affected the, uh, the compass and everything, but I'll, I'll recalibrate it all and try it again, but that was scary. And I don't know why the FPV lost signal, because I flew further afield, a lot further away, and had perfect picture, as in my first video. But this, it kept breaking up, which is why I came back, because I, I didn't know where I was, I couldn't see. And it's gone really overcast today. It's not the best weather. But, uh... Yeah, this will be 
few videos coming online today so uh, keep your eyes out give me likes and dislikes and all that kind of stuff but seriously you best give me some likes because how I didn't crash honestly I do not know my bag up it's falling down my back so yeah that was whew, proper proper scary holy god anyway uh, watch out for these next few videos that are coming on today tomorrow it's been Gadget Man 404 very scared out